Well, it wouldn't be the holidays without a little cranberry sauce, right? And when it comes to homemade cranberry sauce from scratch, nobody does it better than our buddy, Chef Michael Faust from The Farmhouse. Hi, welcome back, Chef. Good Thank to see you, you as Michael. always. Okay, so you say there are a few little tricks to the perfect cranberry sauce. So what are they or what is it? Um, the balance. From the tanginess, the sour, the acidity to the sweet. It's a, a balance. And with uh, cranberry sauce served with meats, you almost want to work in a little bit of savory in there too, so you're not just so on the sweet side. Okay, got it. Well, where do we start? Well, first we start with a hot pan. Got it. And we add our butter. Butter, okay. We get that butter going real good. And then onions. Okay. And again, that's the savory side. That is, okay. I would not have guessed yeah. that onions would go into a mix. We bring that into a translucent just a little bit. And then we add bay leaf. Again, a little bit of that uh, savory side. And our bridge. What I call our bridge is going to be the zest of the orange. I'll help stir because that's, that's how I that's Thank how I roll. Thank you. Yes, and then we've got orange segments. Okay, orange. A little orange. We're going to put those in. Okay. We're going to put a little bit of sorghum. Sorghum, that's to make it sweet. Uh-huh, and white wine. And we're going to cook that just for about a minute or so, and then we're going to go ahead and add in all of our cranberries. Now, here's the crazy thing. I don't see much sugar. We're not adding sugar yet. Oh, what not gonna yet. Do okay. Is we're going to start popping these Ooh, cranberries cranberry. just a little bit. Okay. And once those cranberries puff up and pop, okay. that's when we start adding in our sugar. We hmm. whip in our sugar pretty quickly, and then we set it to the side. Cranberries have a lot of pectin in them, so you'll get that gelatinous like jellies. Okay. It's a natural thing, so it, it sets up real well without having to add a lot of pectin or anything to now, it. Now, what kind of sugar do I use when I actually do use my sugar? Well, there's many different kinds. You can do the honey, you can do uh, white sugar. I, I use brown sugar because I like that molasses, oh, yeah, yeah. and I like the, the tone, the undertone of the molasses to kind of grow the flavor a little bit. Now, where I, I noticed that you use fresh cranberries. Where am I going to find fresh cranberries this time of Grocery year? Grocery store. At just anywhere. Yeah, it's amazing. This time of the year, of course, holidays, cranberries. Boy, trying to find these things in July is a hard thing to do. True that. Yeah. Okay, so do can I use any t other type of citrus in my sauce? You most certainly can. Do you know, you, you could do grapefruit, you can do orange, you can do lemons, you can do limes. It's all up to you and how you want to do the, the dish and what you're serving it with. Now, what, speaking of, what would I pair this with, this particular cranberry sauce? This particular one, uh, ham, turkey. I mean, the, those the, are the holiday, yeah, the staples. holiday staples. Well, let us bring in my lovely co-host, Michelle. That's Home, amazing. Homemade cranberry sauce. I love it. Thank you. Say goodbye to the canned cranberry sauce and of make course. some of your own. I love that. Yes. So what's going on at Farmhouse right now? Well, right now we're getting ready for, of course, Christmas, mm -hmm. but New Year's Eve. We're going to do a big New Year's Eve dinner, and then I'm really excited because we're going to do a... New Year's Day brunch. Yum. Which we did last year and it took off like gangbusters. We couldn't believe it. But New Year's Day brunch, we do it kind of upscale like mm -hmm. the dinner. Uh -huh. But more for my friends who are in the industry who can't get out for that night. You know, oh, they come in for that. brunch in, in the morning with the special people. That's so, very thoughtful. Yeah, we're going to do the brunch and then we're going to do the dinner the night before. Nice. What is yeah. kind of in season right now? Of course, you got cranberries. What, what do you like to use? A lot of squash, squash, a lot of apples, mm -hmm. a lot of pears right now. You're, you're looking at your winter greens, mm -hmm. like your mustard greens, your collard greens, stuff that will get along in a, in a hot house or hoop house or high tunnels or greenhouses. Uh, green tomatoes, we're still getting a lot of those. Green Sweet tomatoes, potatoes. so there you go. And I know yeah. you like to do the, the pickling as well, yes, the kind of, of enjoy. That's mm -hmm. always fun this time of year. Do you pickle this time of year? Or do you yeah, actually, earlier? we've been pickling mm -hmm. this time of year. We've been picking a lot of radish. To get us in through the winter. Yeah. Radish. Yep. Radish. There you go. You want to mm -hmm. sample? I'm, I'm digging in. I'm, I'm okay. actually getting the big vat. I'm going in. I'm going in. <laughs> so this is enough for Michael, right? Get your own. Yes. <laughs> like he did just bring out one spoon, didn't you? Right? Uh -huh. <laughs> we'll just watch you eat. What here, do you think? Here. Amazing. We, we've shared spoons before. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. All right. Lord <laughs> thank you so much for signing out. We, oh, we do share spoons. Oh, it's tart. I love it. And a little sweet, too. Good job, Michael Faust. Thank Perfect. you very much. Appreciate